But first tonight, Central Illinois students are just a few days away from heading back to school, but the district is now ironing out some of the budget and program measures. Tonight, board members met for the first Peoria Public School Board meeting of the school year. Our own Nina McFarland was at that meeting tonight, and she joins us live in studio. And Nina, a lot of big ticket items coming out of that meeting tonight, right? Shelby, former vice president of the Peoria Public School Board, Martha Ross, is now president. She will take the place of former president Gregory Wilson. Now, after recent mass shootings across the country, schools are looking to take a step further with camera systems. And Peoria Public Schools is one of them. Intellisi was brought to the board for approval. The AI system detects guns, possible slip and fall accidents, and other possible threats. The total cost for Intellisi is over $40,000. This includes a one-year license for up to 64 cameras. In Uvalde, Texas, where the young man wrecked a vehicle outside of the building, walked into the building with the long rifle, he made his way to a classroom. The Contelacy will give that information right when you walk out of that vehicle. And so the officers will be able to neutralize the threat outside the building. Now, the elite program contract, which is just shy of $300,000, also approved tonight. The other elite contract approved is the Game Changer Behavior Program, which will cost $500,000. The program is an alternative learning program that takes students to Lincoln and Glen Oak community to learn. Concerns were raised about the certifications of the teachers running the program. During the school day in a public school, is it legal? to send a student to someone without a certification to supervise kids. We do have a certified teacher assigned to Game Changers this upcoming school year. And last year we did have two part-time teachers. Now school begins next Wednesday. Shelby.